it's Takara and today I am going to be showing my top 10 cloud suits. Consider subscribing to my channel for more content like this as I play actively in the Japanese and English Love Nikki servers. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Remember, this is all opinion, so if you don't agree with this list, please don't get upset. Feel free to comment your own top 10 cloud suits if you like. But before we start, I want to give a shout out and thanks to my brother XL. He let me get on his account for this so I can show the suits I didn't have. I actually only own two of the suits on the list. Luckily, he owns seven of them because if not, we'd have to look at majority of them in black and white. I'll leave his Instagram in my description. You should check him out because he's actually a very talented hot lister and stylist. I love you, bro. At number 10, we have Thoral Cove. She is available in the secret shop. She's in a pack with another suit called Passion 404 for $15. Um, her hair, it's okay to me. I will say I have seen people use it when styling cloud male suits, so it is unisex, which is always a good thing. Her coat item is nice, however, we have so many items like this, so it really isn't that special. And then down here, we have her makeup. I love it when there are makeups that aren't neutral color, that are actually gentle and versatile. And then in the special pose, we have the best item, which is this swing item right here. This item is actually really, really pretty, and it's pretty useful for the Starry Corridor and the competition. Now for the accessories in this suit, either they are just really plain and not surprising, or we have things that look just like it, so the only really special items that I really like from her is this swing tree right here and her makeup. At number 9, we have Restrained Romance. She was an event. If you chose her first, she would cost 1,800 diamonds, but if you chose the other suit, then she would be 3,390 diamonds. For her, I do like her movable. She has this uh, Sakura tree, which actually has like a scroll attached to it. It looks really similar to the swing from the other suit that I showed earlier. And then she also has the scroll, which there aren't many uses for scroll, but you know, it is a pretty nice looking item. And then I really, really like her makeup. I love the um, emotional look on her face, and this is a makeup that I would probably actually use if I had this suit, which I don't plan on on this, this suit. And then I actually really like her pose. We don't have a lot of turn around poses in game and this one right here the anatomy for this one is actually really good because you know sometimes the Ellen artist anatomy is just so far off but this one actually looks good so I really do like this pose right here now of course she does have other items such as the shoe the brooch and this necklace and the um, bracelet right here, they're usable items, but we also have so many items that look like this. My main problem with cloud suits is that a lot of the items in some of the suits are so similar to stuff we already have. So she only really has like four unique items according to me. So... It's similar to how I feel about the last suit, however, I say this one is more worth it since she doesn't cost real money. At number 8, we have Flower Song and Fan, a crafting suit that costs around 5,000 diamonds, yikes. For her, I do like her uh, pink hair. It's simple and pretty. And then um, down here, I love both of her movables. She has these pretty flowers and this smoke item right here. These movables here are great for nature competition themes or landscape starry corridor entries. And the rest of the accessories, again, they're just really replaceable. They're not really anything special. But then in the pose, we do have some more items. We have the pose hair, 
which is pretty, you know, just like the actual one. And then we have this giant fan right here. I really don't think this item is that usable because when am I going to need a giant fan? I don't see myself ever using this item if I did own this suit. So, now remember that you do get two other suits before crafting her, which is the side kalpa and a uh, snow tusk, which are great suits, so that does make her a bit better to get for 5,000 diamonds. Her other items, again, are just not really versatile, or we have similar items already. At number 7, we have Golden Bloom. She was an event that cost 1,980 diamonds. I like her coat. It's really nice for a more mature winter style. And then I also like her cup that is down here. We do have other cups in the game, but this is a more high quality one, so that's always nice. And then we have the makeup, which we don't have a lot of makeups that are looking downwards like this, and then this one is actually like a really more versatile, mature styled makeup, so that is a bonus. And then we have the movable items. We have a lamp, a bench, and a window. Her movables are useful for the competition and the Starry Corridor. She doesn't have a lot of usable items, but her items that are usable are so useful, especially if you like the mature style. At number 6, we have Ink Painting. She is a co-op suit, meaning she is free. I do like the dress here, however... It's versatile, but it's not really that good or special. And then we have her four movable items. I do like the birds, but we do have other free birds that are like this, so they aren't really that special to me. And then we have the window right here, which this window item is pretty unique. We don't have anything like this already, so that is actually pretty cool and it's a pretty nice looking item. And then we have the smoke here, which we did have smoke in the flower song and fan suit, however this one is a lot more worth it and better because it's completely free, that suit's like 5,000 diamonds so I'd rather get one that's free than something that costs like 5,000 diamonds. And then we have the branch here which this is a really pretty item however I don't really like how transparent it is because then that makes it into like where in some things you might not even be able to see it because if I like put on a more darker background you can barely see it so that is pretty unfortunate about this item but if you have like more lighter backgrounds like this you can see it pretty well and then i really really like the makeup right here this makeup is so pretty and gentle i love the more I love the color in her eyes. It's kind of like rainbowish or like multicolor. I can't really tell exactly what color it is, but it is actually like really, really pretty and I love it so much. And then in the special pose, she does have this coat pose. However, I've tried styling it on my account before and it's a really hard pose to style, so it's not really that great. The only really great things about her are her movables and makeup, which that is fantastic that she has good movables, considering the fact that she is free, which is why I don't want to hate on her too much for not being that usable. At number 5, we have Hellish Bloom. She is a crafting suit that costs around 4,000 diamonds. She has this single sock right here, which... It is cool, but it's not really that much. And then I actually really like these flowers right here. They look really, really cool in my opinion. And then she has these cool looking horns. Oh my god. I am... <laughs> I love gothic stuff so much. And then I like this item right here. However, because of like the size and the style of it, it seems like it would be really hard to use. But I do love the fact that there's actually blood on it. And then she has this, um... 
tattoo right here that's on her chest the problem with this item right here is that like you have to have a chest uh, not a chest yeah <laughs> yeah she needs to have a chest no she needs to have a dress that shows the cleavage so you can actually see this tattoo right here and then she also has this bowl of like i guess i think this is blood probably but it's not really that that special and then I actually like this um, giant skull right here. It's actually a pretty cool looking item. And my favorite item, the makeup. I love this makeup so much and I want it so badly. I love the blood running out of her eyes and the mouth. This makeup is one of my dream makeups. I wish I had it so bad. And then in the pose, her pose isn't really that usable. I, for one, am a huge fan of gothic and darker stuff, so this suit is perfect for me. I definitely plan on crafting her one day when I can afford it. However, if you aren't into this type of stuff, then she most likely isn't worth it for you. But since she is worth it for me, she is going to be on my list. At number four, we have Sing and Swallow. She was a $5 suit. For her, I actually love the hair. I use it so much more than I thought I would. The dress is actually pretty and I've had fun styling it. I've styled it like two times already and I think the stylings turned out really good. And then her shoes are also nice. And then down here, she has these uh, bracelets, which the thing I really like about them is the fact they have red nails attached to them and sometimes the bracelets aren't really that visible so you can just have some add-on nails to your styling and then we have this ring right here which it's not really that much but I typically add it to my gothic stylings to add a bit more details to it since it tends to work really really well and then the makeup another item from this suit that I thought I would rarely use but it used a lot more than I expected it to um this makeup it's perfect for a more simple and mature styled nikki it's actually like really pretty and i didn't really like it at first but again it's actually pretty versatile and it works well with majority mature stylings and then if we go to the pose the pose is it, it's useless i don't see myself using this pose and I probably will never use this pose. When I bought her, I expected her to be useless to me, but I use her items so much more than I expected, especially for a cheap suit. She doesn't have a lot of usable stuff, but the ones I use, I actually use a lot, which is why she is this high on the list. At number three, we have Soul Soother. She was an event costing 3,288 diamonds. For her, I love this hosiery item right here. It is so cool looking. And then I also really like these flames right here. They're also another really cool looking item. And I also love this purple flower. It's actually really, really pretty. And I could see it being used outside of gothic stuff. And then I love this chain right here. Oh my god, I want this chain so badly. God, I I, I live for the style. I'm so sorry. <laughs> and then uh, she has this eye patch thing right here, which is actually a really cool item. And I want one like this that is black. We have the one from Ravine Goddess and from this suit. And I want either of those so badly so i hope that i can get this suit one day so i can have an item like this finally and then we have the makeup now even though she has a tattoo attached to it i could actually still see myself using this makeup like it doesn't look that bad to where like you couldn't use it um, because just because there's a tattoo attached to it. She does come with a separate coat pose and a separate leg pose, which the coat pose, you know, it's, it's meh. You could probably use it, but this leg pose is a monstrosity. This was such a good potential of a leg pose, but they messed this one up so badly. I would love to use it if her legs weren't so abnormally long and they kind of look broken. 
so uh, that is pretty unfortunate so I love gothic suits as you can tell so I see myself using her items and I will get her when she comes back because some of these items I absolutely live for so she has to be on my list at number two we have cranes at the wrist she is a lucky bag so the price is different based off luck but she is usually 65 dollars i actually really like her hair some people say it's too messy but i think it is gorgeous and then we have this stink right here i don't know what it is exactly but it's something that we don't really have however I don't think you would actually use it. And then we have this water ripple down here. Okay. I want this water ripple so badly. <laughs> we do have another water ripple, which is from the Rosie Watt suit. So that one could be an alternative for the $65 one. But honestly, I want both of them just because I like this suit so much. And then um, we have the makeup right here, which is makeup. It's pretty. However, you could probably find other makeups to use in styling. But this one is actually a really, really pretty makeup. And then in the special pose, we have some of the best items. Um, we do have the pose hair, which again, I like the hair. I don't know why people hate it. And she has these cranes. However, I don't really think I'm going to need to use gigantic cranes. So, um, yeah. And then we have the best item in the suit, in my opinion, which is the moon. Like, l let me just take you to the view mode real quick with this moon. You can use this moon in, like, so many different aspects. So, um, uh, here is the moon. Let me get rid of her more useless movable items. And so, you can use the moon as an actual moon itself, but it also has, like, this light over it. So, you can use it as kind of a filter if you would like to. And then she does have the smoke attached to it, which we do have other smokes like the Flower Song and Fan one and the Ink Painting one. But if you want to use these, you can absolutely do that. I really like this moon item right here and I want it so, so badly. This suit, it is a nice suit. I wish she had more styling qualities, but she's only really wanted if you are into the Starry Corridor, which even though she doesn't have that many usable items, I think she is absolutely worth the price. You can fight me on that one. I mean, I just love this suit so much. It's so dumb, bro. And finally, at number one, we have Yatai Waitress. She is a crafting suit that costs around 2,000 diamonds. I actually like this dress right here. It's not really like that, like, you know, it's not really that, it doesn't have much to it, but it's actually a pretty nice, cute dress. And then we have the apron right here, which this apron is actually really cute. You can use it for waitresses and maids or styling cooks so that's a pretty nice thing about her and then i love the socks and shoes i know they're like really simple items but i love the design and color scheme and they're not really easily replaceable either so that's also really really good about them and then we have this food cart right here which if you like starry corridor you can do different things with this card you can not only use it as a card you can use it in other ways too and then we have the special pose where she has this separate leg pose and this separate coat pose i think this leg pose is actually really cute however when i tried to style it it took like years off my life because it took it, i had such a hard time stylist this leg pose i don't know if i'm just not a good stylist or if it's actually a really hard leg pose to style but i have seen other people style it very cutely so it is actually 
a pretty item. She is a very useful yet simple suit to own. I love that you can use the items outside of Cloud. She's the most versatile and usable suit on this list and she's not too expensive for what she offers. Let me know your thoughts and if you have any future video ideas, please let me know in the comments down below. But anyways, that's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye!